Hey guys, what's up? This is me coming to you from GNA today. So I've got my ISSC MK22, and I recently did a video on doing the washer mod on this, where you take the trigger mechanism apart, you add a washer in there to put more pressure on the hammer. And I mentioned in that video that I was going to do the mod on the firing pin spring. And so that's what I'm going to do in this video today, is I'm going to show you how to do that. I mean, it's, it's very, very simple. So we're going to have to take this thing apart, but I've already got a video on how to disassemble the bolt. So I'm not going to go through that process because it's, it's kind of long and tedious. So I'll just have a link in this video to that so that you can take this thing apart. And then from there, all we're going to do is we're just going to trim about three or four coils off of that spring. Now, obviously, the, the difference in this mod is that with, with, the, with the washer mod, you could easily undo that. You could just take the washers out. On this one, we're physically going to be altering it. We're going to be trimming that spring down. So on this, you need to make sure that that's what you want to do because you can't put coils back on a spring once it's cut off. So anyways, I'm going to cut about three or four coils off of mine. I'm going to go ahead and disassemble it, and then I'll pick it back up whenever I get to that point and just cut it off. I mean, nothing to it. So see you in a second. Okay, so I've got the bolt taken all the way down, got the, the three screws out of the bolt uh, jacket here. I'm going to take this off, and it's that spring right there that we're going to trim. So be careful, and again, this is all in the disassembly video, but there's a little plunger right there that you need to be careful that you don't lose. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to trim about three or four coils off of this. It's just so stout. It is incredibly stout. So you're going to want something to be able to make a good, clean cut. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little tiny hacksaw and see if I can get that, get it right down in there and be able to trim it off. So if you have some kind of a snip or something, again, you want it to make a good, clean cut, though, for you. Well, I underestimated how stout that spring is. It is incredibly rigid and the, the metal is pretty thick. That hacksaw is not doing a real good job on that. So I'm going to get a pair of snips and where it's already kind of pushed out there, I'm just going to get a pair of snips and just snip that off right there. Okay, so try the hacksaw for a while there and it just barely, barely started scratching the surface. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim that, take these needle nose. I'm just, since it's already got a pretty good spot where it's bent out there, I'm just going to take this. Alright, and there you go. There's my four coils that I trimmed off there. And that's kind of sharp there now. I may take a file to that now. Of course, I don't have a file down here. I'll have to go get one. But I may take a little file to that and just file that off right there. But that's it. That's all you're doing. Now, obviously, when you're doing this, you're physically modifying your rifle. You're probably making it a little less safe. But like I said in one of my other videos, if this thing is so safe that it can't even shoot, if it, if it keeps the firing pin from hitting the primer uh, to hit the rim so that it can fire, then it's too safe because it's not allowing the, the weapon to function. I mean, you can make a car so safe that it can't even pull out of the driveway. And yeah, if you can't get out of your if you can't get out of the driveway in your car, you're not going to get into a wreck cuz you can't leave the driveway. But at some point there's you've got to be able to get out and to actually drive. The wheels actually have to be able to spin. And same thing on this rifle. The firing pin has to come into contact with the with the rim. And so I'm just trying to make it possible for that firing pin to come in contact with it. So there's the three coals trimmed off there. Obviously, I'm going to take this plunger, and I'm going to put it on the, on the flat side right here, and then that's going to go right up in the, in the groove of the jacket there. And again, I'm not going to show this process putting it back together because all of that's in my other disassembly video, so you can watch that from there. But that's all this mod is, is trimming off three or four coals here.